Hey guys, that's Sarah Beth. Uh, she's gonna play some Pac-Man Plus for us, just to give you some footage of that game. Hopefully I do a little better than Paul did last time. Hopefully. So, Plus is a little crazy. If you've never played it before. Oh shit. I can't talk and do this at the same time. Uh, it has some like fun little nuggets that um, basically the game keeps changing as you go. It's faster, obviously. The, Aha. the food items are, are different. Uh, uh, sometimes the ghosts go invisible, sometimes the map actually uh, disappears. Yeah, power pellets do different things. Sometimes, like she said, it makes the ghosts disappear. Ah, ah, ah. Sometimes the whole board disappears and you don't know where you're going. Um, and sometimes only some of them turn into edible ghosts and one will remain. <laughs> able to hello, tell you. hello. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, I get distracted very easily. But hey, look at that. In the end, it's harder because of the randomness and. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. A nice break from the regular Pac-Man if you've been playing for a while and kind of get stuck on the progress. It's fun to switch it up a little bit. It would have been perfect to have Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, but <laughs> yeah, we know they're gonna try and get their money and there's separate licenses and yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to get this cocktail. Oh, nope, that didn't work. I'm doing great so far, as you can see. She did set that high score the first time we played. Um, I get stage fright. And it is, it's saving our high scores for both the games. Of course, it just saves the one high score when you don't put in initials, but. But that's classic. That's Pac-Man. Um, put that little box with our little Pac-Man toy over the speaker, and so now it's uh, a good level of volume, not too loud. I have a lot of Pac-Man paraphernalia that I'll need to pull out now that we yeah. have the arcade. We got a little, little light thing up there. Um, it's, it's my favorite. My dad and I used to go to the arcades and play all the time. Mm -hmm. See that? Pinky didn't change on me. No, no, no. Just get away. Chest friend. The bezel artwork is awesome. Kind of be being sloppy right now. Woo -hoo -hoo! But when this is on and when I'm playing Centipede and if somebody was over on the Rampage cabinet and when they're all going and have the sound like, I feel like I'm in an arcade. Like, it's awesome. This is sort of like what I always wanted. Whoa! I forgot my... My pellets are there. Should have gone for the ghosts. You got that extra life just in time. Ah. Oh. I got Good cocky. Good got game, cocky. Sarah Beth. Okay, I'm just gonna get a little closer on the marquee and some of the stuff. Oops. Just so you can get a good up close look. The monitor seems to be in good shape. Not really any bad light bleeding. Haven't noticed any dead pixels. I did notice that one little bit of dust that I must have missed when I cleaned it out the plexiglass, but no problem. Awesome, awesome. Um, like I said, I got a little scratch there, a little chunk there. We'll see if they can help us with that. Uh, top to bottom, here's the unit. Artwork is great. And we got some stickers on our riser there. Won't be able to show you the side of the cab too great, but um, there it is. Yeah, I could pull it out. I got 
the other one kind of in there. Um, anyways, uh, just a quick video, show you some Pac-Man Plus. Um, thanks for watching guys, and uh, let me know uh, if you got any cabinets and what you think of them. See you later.